Hello and welcome to, um, well, another Crafty Sniper Airsoft video. I know I said I was never going to do another Crafty Sniper Airsoft review video. However, well, it's not really a review, it's kind of really just what's going on. Now, what you can see in front of you now is a whopping ready scope. So, what's underneath the scope? This is my Aerie Striker. And, uh, yeah, this video is just going to be like a what I've done to this video, or what, what I've done to this rifle even, um, over the time I've owned it. Now, a little bit of history. Um, I like sniping, whether it's with a bolt action sniper rifle or with a designated marksman rifle. I love the idea of sniping. Sneaky beaky, long range hitting, brilliant, love it. Uh, I have a Tokyo Marie uh, G Spec rifle, fully upgraded, able to lob point fours out to you know, 80, 90 meters. I've actually got the longest kill, which was around just about 90 odd meters, I think 92 meters, with a point four out of my TM G Spec. It was, I shot the club boss at Lincolnshire Airsoft Club and I was just astounded that you could lob a BB out of a smoothbore barrel that amount of distance and get a kill. Um, so yeah, I love that whole idea. But the downside is my TMG spec is getting quite old. Um, so I kind of thought, well, I need to buy a new rifle. Now, do I just do the usual and buy another Tokyo Mori product? Because let's face it, Tokyo Mori know their stuff. And I decided not to. Um, and before anyone asks, no, the, what is it, the Novrich SSG24, whatever it's called, uh, that never even entered my mind. That is just a stupidly expensive rifle. I have fired one, and I've been shot at by that rifle, and it is very accurate. I will give them that. But you could buy the bits for that rifle and put it in your own rifle, and it'd be cheaper than buying it off Novrich's.com site. So, yeah, that rifle never even entered uh, the list. However, what did was the Ares Striker. Now, what I'm going to go is, the word of the day for this rifle is potential. And uh, that's the thing. I'm going to be comparing this rifle to my Tokyo Marie uh, sniper rifle. And does it have the potential to equal the range and accuracy out of that rifle, out of the Tokyo Marie version? And the answer out of that, very quickly, no, not a cat else chance. This thing is awful, absolutely awful. Don't buy one, terrible. Um, <laughs> however you upgrade it, because every sniper rifle, every bolt action sniper rifle, you do need to upgrade them, whether it's just the buckings and the inner barrels, but you, I mean the Tokyo Marui rifle, I upgraded everything internally out of that thing, and this rifle is exactly the same. Um, at the moment, upgrades for this rifle are, I've got some 90 degree sears in the trigger box, I've changed a fire indicator pin, which I'll go into in a minute, I've got a little hot dial now, hook here, which means I can change it on the fly instead of having an Allen key, which is going to be useless because I've got scope on top of it. Uh, what else have we done? Oh, I've got the cylinder kit. Um, this I CPSB, CPS, I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's the uh, cylinder kit for the Aries Striker rifle. It's not the bespoke version, it's the one that came out before that. So I think it's a steel cylinder, steel cylinder head, uh, steel cil uh, spring guide. Um, and I think it's an M120 spring in it. Don't quote me on that. I know it's not an M150, um, but it, it, I think it's an M120. This thing's putting out about 440 odd FPS on point twos. Uh, what else have we done? Um, I think that's about it, to be honest with you. Uh, I have on order um, a dual bore inner barrel, which is one of the things you really do need to start thinking about. I've got a Action Army uh, hop up uh, system that's on order with the barrel and I've also ordered which um, I've also ordered a, what was it, it was a PDI W hold uh, hot booking that turned up a couple of days ago uh, that's in my bits box now just waiting for the barrel and all that so yeah major upgrades across this rifle obviously I've added a scope oh I've also added this as well this is a steel uh, bolt handle different from the one that comes with the rifle um, yeah so Upgrades wise, uh, yeah, when all the barrel sort of stuff turns up, this rifle will be 100% completely different than when I bought it. Uh, also added the, uh, the bipod, we've got the traditional magazines that come with it, these I think hold, they hold over, they hold over 35 rounds, I know that much, depending on the website you go on, you could get up to 55 rounds in these things apparently, um, I think you're going to get 35 to 40 rounds out of these, ample for sniping. Got a couple of mags out of this. There's no ammunition in it, so don't worry about me shooting myself and not wearing glasses. Um, but yeah, so upgrades wise, like I say, got the scope on it as well. Um, now, when you look at the Aries Striker, 
there is one whopping great big problem with it as it comes out the box and this is when it comes to comparing it to a G-Spec Tokyo Mui uh, VSR-10 sniper rifle thingamajig uh, and that is the cylinder on a TM cylinder, and I'm not going to quote figures here, but basically it's longer and it has more bolt pull and this means that this, uh, the TM product can actually put out more air or has more capacity for air inside the cylinder which as we all know gives the range and accuracy from the, the onto the BB. Uh, the Ares Striker has a very short trigger pull, uh, sorry, uh, bolt pull and it also has a very very small cylinder it's actually very very tiny, I actually compared these to an L96 cylinder which I think is slightly a bit bigger than the TM version and the, 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 the size of it is just minuscule, this cylinder is absolutely tiny so the, the, the actual figure out of this is the fact that this rifle will not shoot point fours um, and reach 80 meters with its conventional uh, air capacity so what you do is, you've got a couple of choices, well you need three choices really, one you could HPA the thing, I think that corrects the issue, but that's a whole heap of different problems you want to do with that, you've got a Minecraft kit which is working for some people, not working for everyone else. Your two main choices are, you make this rifle shorter, now as you can see this is the full length um, rifle, you can unscrew this out of barrel and put on a shorter outer barrel which comes to around about here and you then put in a crazy jet now I think it's about 300 millimeter or 320 millimeter in a barrel and that is the length in a barrel that gives the best results for the cylinder um, air volume capacity I have heard setups that with the smaller shorter barrels uh, which can reach 75 80 odd meters um, you just put a suppressor on the end of it to make it look like a little more covert and yeah it works um, and it is fairly cheap you get change out of a hundred pound for that however there is uh, another way which is the edgy dual bore inner barrel now anyone knows about inner barrels the inner diameter of the inner barrel is the same from the end to the end it's well let's say it's 6.03 6.03 at the start of the barrel and it's 6.03 at the end of the barrel the dual bore inner barrel is different two sizes that's why it's called dual bore um, and I think it's between 6.03 and 6.05 um, sorry 6.01 and 6.03 on the inner first half of the barrel and on the end of the barrel it's about 6.05 and that apparently according to anyone who knows airsoft um, or knows a striker gives the rifle the ability to lob 0.4s 80-90 meters with the right conditions and still keep that conventional length out of barrel so that's what I've ordered um, like I said I've got the uh, the hot booking already turned up I've got the hot chamber on order with the inner barrel now the inner barrel the dual bore inner barrel is made by Edgy and it's coming from the Philippines I do believe it's gonna take about two weeks to get get to me uh, I'm gonna upgrade the last half part of the rifle uh, when I think all turns up now at the moment, as the rifle sits now, I've been able to shoot 0.3s to about 50 odd meters, 55 meters. Fairly accurate. Um, I think you needed about uh, 55 meters against a person-sized target. We was looking at about two to three shots to get that you know, sweet shot where it actually just flies out and smacks the person. Um, Occasionally the rifle will put that shot out first time, but I found it you, you're having to put a group of shots out there to you know to hit the target. With that dual bore inner barrel inside this thing, this rifle suddenly becomes and suddenly has the capabilities and potential to match the TM uh, G spec that I've got in my collection, which is what I'm after. So yeah, I'm gonna take this rifle back to the range when I've got the inner barrel all sorted out friend of mine has very gracefully, gracefully loaned me his uh, 100 meter long range which uh, he uses to set his sniper rifles up and we're going to actually be able to put this rifle up against a fully upgraded better than my rifle Tokyo Marui G-Spec which I know that rifle is putting out about 90 odd meters when the you know the wind is just so uh, and is capable of lobbing point fours out there this rifle will have the potential to do that if I set this up properly so 
yeah, we're still we're nearly there. We've just got about the last quarter now, uh, last third of upgrades to to install into this gun. Uh, after that, uh, upgrade wise, it's just basic externals. Uh, I am tempted to get the uh, suppressor on the end of this just for looks, um, but at the moment it's quite a long rifle, and the suppressor is only going to make that worse. Looks wise, make it look a downside, look more sexy, but. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's practicality and it's going to be a very longer rifle or much longer rifle, so there's more chance of me smacking it into a tree. Um, but this will have the potential to hit 75, 80 odd meters, you know, and that's what I'm after. So, yeah, I just thought I'd do this video because this is a project that's been going on for a long time now and I've been steadily upgrading it and I'm quite impressed with it so far. Um, I've ordered the bits from. Uh, a couple of sites that actually just deal mostly with strikers. I think one of them is called Bespoke Airsoft, and the other one is called IHFY. The guys from IHFY, you know, are absolutely awesome. A um, lot of talking with them, and you know, got their ideas on what needed to be done to this rifle to make it able to shoot viewable long ranges. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you very much. If you guys are watching this video, thank you very much for what you've done so far. Um, I hope that the inner barrel will correct the issues on this rifle and have it able to shoot out the long ranges which you know I, I honestly do think this rifle can actually do that I think this rifle can go up against a TM uh, G spec and at least compete with it I don't think it's going to be better than it but I don't think it's going to be if it's going to be worse than it it's only going to be like you know 2% worse than what a G spec is from a TM comparing it against an SSG24 well you know uh, I know that rifle is very very accurate um, I also know it's extremely expensive you're looking at about 700, well, six, between 600 and 700 pounds for that rifle. Um, so the Ares Striker already is quids in cheaper than an SSG24 and still has the capability of lobbing, or you know, when all the barrel stuff is sorted out, has the capability and potential to lob around out just as far. So, yeah, you know, do I, well, am I saying this Ares Striker is better than a, a Novavich SSG24? Again, no, I'm not saying it's going to be better. I'm going to be saying it's roughly in the same ballpark, uh, and that is high praise from, you know, I think Ares do, are they done a lot of sniper rifles? Yeah, they're not known for it. This sniper rifle, the Ares Striker, absolutely sweet. And I do like it, it's a unique look to a sniper rifle, you know, you in OD Green, I think this rifle just has a bit of a whiff of the M40 A1s and A2s, whatever it was, stocks, the American Marine Corps sniper rifles. Uh, a very modern look a modern take on the bolt action sniper rifle um you know the the barrel here i think is a fluted barrel so yeah it doesn't mean diddly squat to you know the actual potential of the rifle it just makes it look a little bit different and in airsoft sometimes something that looks different is better so uh i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope i've kind of really sold the airy striker to you guys if you're actually out there looking for a new sniper rifle please take a look at the airy striker have a look at the upgrades that you need because every sniper rifle is going to need upgrades, bar the SSG24, because it's already got the upgrades installed. Um, but if you buy a TM uh, G-Spec or you know a rifle like that, you're going to need to spend another 500, 600 pounds on upgrades if you spend the really high dollar prices. Um, this rifle, again, is no different than anything else. It needs upgrades. So you've got to go into air airsoft sniping knowing that you're going to upgrade this rifle uh, or any rifle that you buy. So, if you have any questions, comments, or anything about the Aries Striker that uh, I have here, then please post them, you know, post them as you do on the uh, Facebook page, on the YouTube page. I'm quite happy to talk about this at Rifle, because I really do honestly believe it has the potential to compete with the Tokyo Marie uh, products and the SSG24. So, yeah, my name is Crafty Sniper. This is the Aries Striker. I hope you've liked this video. Um, I did say I was never going to do another Airsoft review video, and I suppose technically it was just me talking about this rifle. But, you know, I'm still here. I'm still doing Airsoft stuff. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe, and I hope to be shooting you with this sniper rifle uh, in the next few months at least, anyway. So, yeah, stay safe, and I'll see you on an Airsoft field very, very soon.